Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your daily vibes for Wednesday, March 28th. You know, I'm not sure. No, I don't think I will. Okay, so anyway, this is for March 28th, Wednesday. You know, <laughs> there's communication, but it might be difficult communication, okay? So, you know, somebody, you could be receiving some communication with, from somebody, or you may be communicating with someone that it's really difficult to communicate with. Maybe you have been holding it in, maybe there's been some anger and bitterness by you or the other person, and now it's come out and it needs to, it needs to be dealt with. Okay. It feels as though um, there, there could be some unexpected conflicts. There could be. <sighs> you know, there's a, whatever's going on here is probably going to happen very quickly. And I just feel the need to tell you that. I feel like there is there's there are changes that are coming and it could happen there could be sudden changes okay there could be sudden changes that are you know self-imposed okay there could be some self-imposed changes that you know somebody could do something impulsively that impacts their future okay it could because this is a, this is you're being offered some sort of new growth okay this could be a new partnership it could be um some new exciting adventure either way this is something brand new that is going to bring you growth but with the queen of wands right here reversed there's there you could this is something that somebody that is impulsive somebody that is self-absorbed okay so, you know, this person is not being realistic. So just beware. Beware. I mean, this could be, anybody could be taking on this energy where they do something, you know, that is unrealistic that impacts their, their future. Okay? Somebody could cut them right off because of their impulsive behavior. Okay? Someone is coming out of confusion, okay? Somebody is coming out of confusion. They're coming out of isolation. They're coming out of uh, introspection, okay? It feels as though somebody here has been going through some sort of midlife crisis, but this midlife crisis is over, okay? I feel like it's over. I feel like you've had enough time to think about it. You've had enough time to figure it out, and now today could be the day where you... You impulsively take action because I do see some impulsive behavior here. Um, it feels as though you know someone is deciding to communicate, reveal how they really feel. Okay, I feel like there is some sort of revelation, in it, or it's a re reveal where, where somebody actually says how they feel. Okay, they say they say how they feel, what they've been thinking, what they've been planning. Okay, it just comes out. It's like you know, I I have to get this out. I have to let this out. So you know, I feel like there's been a period of withdrawal, a period of silence, a period of you 
dealing with negative emotions you know that took some time somebody has been feeling uh dealing with all these negative aspects or negative feelings you know you know and it, I, there's been some emotions that had been buried and i feel like that during this time of introspection somebody has been dealing with those buried feelings okay and so it has it's, and perhaps today you know the the emotions come out today could be the day where somebody's real feelings emotions hurts are brought to light okay it, that can certainly happen and it could happen instantly you know how sometimes you just burst there could be a burst where I can't take it anymore I can't hold this in anymore I have to tell you how I feel and that could you know when you do tell somebody how you feel it can go one of two ways it can go badly or it can go well okay whatever is happening here when you tell this person how you truly feel it is going to bring you a new beginning okay it is this is a this is a gift from above okay this is an ace it's the ace of wands it's a gift of um, it could be a new partnership a new exciting journey okay either way it's asking you to follow your passions okay because it's a very passionate ace it's the ace of passion okay yeah somebody has been really hurting somebody has been really really hurting over uh, how they feel okay they've been holding it in they've been suffering okay they've been suffering with regrets maybe even rejection you know and they've been they've been burying it burying it burying their feelings burying the hurt instead of really dealing with it and I, I really feel like today could be the day where somebody just can't bury it anymore okay I feel as though someone is no longer wanting these power struggles they're no wanting no longer wanting to live with this tension in their lives this conflicts so now with the moon being that's the middle card I consider the moon the basis of my readings I mean the middle card the basis of my readings the moon is reversed so this is telling me that the, that someone is about to speak the truth. They're about to say how they feel. They're about to express their hurts, their regrets, in order to release this tension that has been keeping them keeping those thoughts those feelings those regrets those hurts down I mean that's stress somebody has been feeling very very stressed over this this hurt this these these regrets I think there's there, there's some regrets here and it's really left someone feeling detached cold withdrawn um, miserable yeah it's caused a lot of anxiety somebody has been living in, in in a depressive state of mind I mean that's what this is this is the nine of swords they've been losing sleep uh, feeling ill unable to concentrate they may be having panic attacks because they're burying their true feelings so I feel as though the true feelings may come out today. Okay, they may come out today. Let me get this zoomed in. And this is reveal, okay? So I feel like some, and that is the basis. I think somebody is about to reveal their true feelings that they have been, they've been buried. They've been buried, okay? 
and I feel like they've been burying them because they have felt like they were going to be let down, okay? But I think that there could be some very quick, impulsive communication that comes through because somebody just can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. I have to tell you how I feel. We're going to get two more of these and then I'm going to get a couple of oracle cards. Yeah, whatever this is, yeah, somebody has given up. They're giving up on holding it in. It's like this, they've been through this, this time of recuperation and recovery and rest and retreat. They've been through all that. But now they have to let it go, okay? I feel, I, I mean, this is the Four of Swords. Somebody has, is, has felt empty and dead inside long enough. I can't feel this way anymore. I can't. I have, I have, to, I have to do something about this. I have to bring stability and security back to my life. So I feel like somebody is taking action in regards to bringing stability and security and abundance and prosperity back to their lives. I'll get one more. Because wherever you are at, there was no growth. And I need growth. So I think that, that somebody has been unable to follow their instincts because of their fear of being let down and their lack of love for one, oneself. And it's time to refocus on what you really, really desire. And I feel like today is a day where somebody just comes to the conclusion, I must communicate how I feel, my regrets, even if it's difficult. On the bottom of the deck is the two of pentacles. This is it's time to take the next step. It's time to make a decision. It's time to make the choice with trust and faith that you are making the right choice. It's time. It's time to take the next step. There's no need to hold on to suffering. There isn't. There isn't. There's no need to hold on to it. If you are suffering and hurting over a situation, it's time to communicate. This is the hurt. This is the suffering. This is the communication. And this is usually rapid communication. Okay? It could come in the form of email, text, phone. And this, um, this is also playfulness, okay? So, you know, maybe you, maybe you communicate, even, you know, I know that it's going to be difficult. This communication is going to be difficult. It is. It's hard. It's hard to tell somebody how you feel when there could be rejection, okay? There could be rejection. And so you just don't know, right? You don't know. The unknown is under here. The moon, the unknown, you don't know. And there's a lot of fear of being let down. But when you do communicate, I have to tell you that there could be a new beginning. This is a new passionate beginning. Could be in love. But anyway, this card says have fun. This card also says have fun. Take the next step. Anyway. Have fun. Stop. When was the last time you had fun? When was the last time you took a chance and did something silly? Something totally unlike you. 
something just for the joy of it. It's long overdue for you to let go of your analytical mind and give yourself and your soul permission to have fun. Love. Love is the foundation of your existence and you're just as, as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propo propels you through life. There is somebody here that is afraid of love. They're afraid of being let down. And the thing is, is it is time for you to stop letting those insecurities hold you back. When one door closes, another door opens. If something doesn't work out, at least you gave it your best shot, right? I feel like there's a new passionate beginning in love. If someone would stop withholding communication And take the next step. Talk to you later.